So here we are up at the city landfill where we're going to talk to some folks who are building a public art project, UCSC's public art class on memory and D. Hubert Jones and building some sculptural elements with junk, lots of junk. I hate the intros. We're here at the dump with D. Hibbert Jones. D. Hibbert is a uh, assistant associate professor, assistant, assistant professor of art at UC Santa Cruz and also a member of the city public art committee and is with her students here at the dump collecting junk. What are we doing and why? Uh, we're correcting a piece, uh, it was actually a proposal that the students did uh, to the um, the uh, City of Public Art Commission to do a piece which would talk about the idea of layering um, and the idea of landfill. And so um, I have a class, it's a memory class, and they basically put together proposals and we came up with this idea. It's a series of these forms that interlock and then the students are collecting different kinds of garbage to create this sense of a sculpture. And the sculpture is uh, 10 feet tall at the tallest point and I think it's, it goes down to just a foot at the bottom of the base and it's about 29 feet long. Well, we started off, I started off um, putting this uh, class in connection to this, thinking about the idea of what people collect and what they throw away. So this part of the class is about the idea of, of what do people discard. And so we're kind of going through what people have discarded and, you know, collecting that and making it into a piece of art. How long have you been out here so far? Um, we've been out here, well, it's nearly the end of the quarter, so we've been out here for eight weeks. And you came up with this concept and approached the city about doing some art up here? Well, I came in around, uh, the idea came about over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, and that is that the complexities of a landfill operation and both uh, the environmental and social effects tend to be invisible to a lot of people. So there's a lot of science that is involved in this process. There's also uh, uh, a lot of regulation. We monitor uh, air and, and also water uh, every month. They're very, 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 very complicated uh, processes. And uh, so uh, we wanted to make uh, art part of what will make people curious and wonder a little bit more about the, uh, the, this operation so, so that they can better appreciate it. And art will be a perfect conduit to it. So uh, where are you collecting this from? Are you actually going out to the where people take their trash or where do you? Not up there. We're going, um, there's the public tipping site, which is right over there. And basically daily, um, both the recycling trucks from the city and um, like residents can drive in and dump stuff. So we're either going through the recycling area, which is mostly where we got all this red like plastic stuff that she's got. I was surprised that we didn't have to go through garbage because that's initially what I was picturing. Is that why you signed up for this class? Yeah, and then I was really bummed, no. Um, so that, I'm surprised at how much um, refuse there is, how many things, you know, how many Tide bottles from one day you can find. And so that was pretty um, amazing. And then um, I think that one of, I mean, if we're talking about like uh, recycling, one of the biggest lessons that this project might have for the individual or the public is that recycling is working or helping because it's not just getting put into the landfill, it's actually getting reused. I mean, we're using it for art, but then when this is over, you know, whenever it is, we'll just give it back to the landfill. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of their plastics, they sell to other countries and make a profit off of. So it's something that can be reused again and again. Cool. So it's reusing and exploiting. Exactly. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. What's the point of this? I, I think it's to add something, one, aesthetic and intentional to the landfill. Um, it has a message that, you know, you can make beautiful things out of not even someone else's um, old treasures, but literal trash, just recyclable. So I think it trains your eye to look for the not so obvious. What does it have to do with memory? Um, well, just like how you were talking about, oh, this probably had to do with the party, like the memory of that, or like where did all those toilets come from, like the memory of the people who used them at one time and all the cats that ate all the cat food, like that's what I think of when we're doing this project, so. Are you so uh, of all the, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I think it also makes apparent an absence of memory because we're using things that people have thrown away. It's making visible the invisibility of these objects. I like that.